Hi guys, today I wanted to show you how I do an ombre lip. Alright, so I wanted to come on here today and I just wanted to show you guys something really relatively easy that I do a lot. I get asked about my lipstick a lot. I like to do a not a crazy ombre lip, but a nice subtle ombre lip. And I pretty much do this every single time I put lipstick on. So what you wanna have is you wanna have whatever darker lipstick you're going to be using. I prefer liquid lips. You can do regular lipsticks. You can do this with any kind of formula that you like. Mix it up and mix and match as well. It doesn't have to be just strictly liquid lips or just strictly lipsticks. So you need your darker shade. You're gonna need a lighter lipstick shade. And then this is totally optional, but the third step I usually take is I get some type of gloss. So with these three items right here, I'm gonna be making my ombre lip. Another thing that I will say too, if you want, you can always do a lip liner as well. I'm not a huge lip liner fan because I'm just not very good at it. So I kind of omit that step, but you can absolutely use a lip liner as well if you want to. Just find one that's gonna match your darker lip shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right into this, show you guys how I do it, and you guys can be on your way to living your ombre lipped dreams. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and grab your darker lip shade and I'm using, uh, this is uh, Chelsea Smith's Cosmetics in blushing and this is a liquid lip. All right. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can be very neat about it and only really kind of put it, um, concentrating on the outside areas of your lips. If you want, I am all about quick and easy and simple. So I'm actually going to put this on my whole lip. I'm just not going to put as much into the center of my lips as I am on the outsides. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, show you guys, and then we'll go to the next step. All right. So once you have your base color on, if you're using a liquid lipstick, I would recommend letting it dry a little bit first before you go on to the next step. But if not, then you can go ahead and go on to your next step, which is going to be the lighter shade. So with the lighter shade, we're going to be taking this and we're going to be concentrating this directly right here in the center part of our lip. I kind of measure it with my, my Cupid's bow. So I'm going to really concentrate this point to this point. And then I'm gonna bring that down here to my lip as well. And that kind of gives you a guide of exactly where you want to start. And we're going to blend it out, but that's really like the main area where you're going to start. So I'm going to go ahead and do that step. And then I will show you kind of how I blend it out and then we'll do the last step and that'll be it. You're essentially, if you're splitting your lips into thirds, it would be the middle third of your lip where you want to have that. And then you're going to just take your lips and kind of Rub them together a little bit. And then I usually will either use a brush, which you totally can do, or you can just use the tip of your finger. And I just take my finger here and I blot right here on either side, just to kind of blend in that line so that you don't have like a really like solid stop. And it just kind of blends and melts into the darker shade. And at this point too, you can kind of look and see if you feel like you need a little bit more, or if you need to bring it out further, you can do that as well, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add a little bit more right in the center and just um, blend that out as well. And you can choose to bring this out further if you want, if you just wanna have a little, like if you wanna make it a brighter, more light ombre lip, you would just bring that lighter color further out into those corners and just really leave like the corners, the dark shade. But essentially this is kind of how I would do it. And it's not like a crazy, crazy, like, drastic color difference with the ombre because I try to pick colors that are pretty similar and in the same color um, color space, just a little bit, a couple shades darker and a couple shades lighter, but you can absolutely go more extreme with this if you want to. Then the last step that I would do, oh, also, because I forgot to mention this is, um, uh, also Chelsea Smith lips. So the whole lip I'm doing is with Chelsea Smith cosmetics, um, lipsticks, and I will link them in the description below for you guys, if you want to get these. Um, but this one right here, the lighter color is actually a, um, satin lipstick and it is in the Roaring 2020s is the name of that. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do, and this is optional, you can have, you can just do the first two steps and be done and move on with your life and you're good to go. If you wanna take it a step further, you can go ahead and do this last step, which is you can take any gloss you want. So this is a Chelsea Smith's gloss, which I'm obsessed with just because of the packaging, because, come on. Um, but this is in uh, Deco, and I'm just gonna take this, and I like to take the lip gloss and just put a tiny little pop of this right in the center of my lip. 
And it just pulls more focus to that center and really gives it just a little bit more of a shine and really accentuates that ombre effect that we're going for. And that's, I dropped it. Uh, that's really it. It's really simple. It's pretty much what I do every single day. I know lots of people say, oh, what lipstick are you wearing? And a lot of times I'm like, ah, it's a combination of a bunch of them. And I don't really remember, but this is why. Cause I usually always do two lipsticks, if not three. And you can also do more shades. Like if you really want to make this like a gradient type ombre, you can absolutely do that. I don't have the patience for that, but this is just a really simple, easy way to give yourself an ombre look. It makes your lips look bigger. It gives you the illusion of more fuller lips, which is nice, especially if you have, you know, smaller lips. You don't have to like overdraw to get that look. With this, it's gonna give you more of that full plump lip look. And it's just, I don't know. I just think it really just adds a little bit more depth and dimension to lipstick versus just having that solid single color. So that's it. A uh, quick, easy, simple video for you guys today. I hope you liked it. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notifications on any videos I do in the future. Um, if you got anything out of this video, if you liked the video, I'd really appreciate a like on it as well. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.